Greetings. My name's Scott, and today it's cold. And if you're watching this, you're probably cold too, so I'm not going to waste any time. What we're talking about here is your standard everyday boiler furnace. And what we want to do is we want to increase the temperature in the tank within safe limits, of course, so that the heat that's going through the house is that, or the water that's being pumped through the house is actually a little bit hotter and will help heat the house better. It will also mean that the furnace will run more because we'll try to maintain the water at that temperature and as that water is pumped through the house it will be warmer, a few degrees warmer and will hopefully help get the, the temperature of the house up. Right now it's about negative 15 degrees outside and the house is not keeping up and the temperature is falling it's below 65 in some areas of the house, so we're going to get this thing kicking out a little extra heat. Now here's how you do it. You just come down to the furnace, and I'm going to show you that there's a, I might get a little light going. It might seem kind of bright at first. You know, I'm going to turn the camera around. All right, so right here we have our controllers for the, the pumps themselves, and these are linked up to the dual zone thermostats that I have. Right to the right here, and you'll see if you follow this down, you'll see that there's a line that comes down here to the uh, valve and the thermal couple and all that stuff. And that's this is what is responsible for delivering gas right down to the burners. And this turns on and off based on the directions that it's getting from whether or not it's turned on on the switch on the side of the furnace and whether or not this guy's telling it what temperature to go up to. So I'm just going to take, you can see if you look in there, you can see, I think you can see, there you go. So right now it's set to there. Now it's important to look at the gauge up here on top of your, on top of your furnace as well. You don't want to get into the red zone there. If you get into the red zone there, that's bad and that's too much pressure and you're going to see that some of your pressure valves may blow. So this is important. Uh, and if you're not comfortable messing around down here at all, then don't do it. But if it's really cold and you can't get anybody to come to your house, uh, you may not have a choice. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to take this, this is a screwdriver, and I'm just going to turn that up about five degrees. Here you heard that the thermos or that the furnace kicked on. Actually, let's just go with 10 degrees. And then I'm going to come back in about 20 minutes and I'm going to check that and make sure that everything's still good and clear there. But this should help raise the temperature of the house and make it a little bit more comfortable. So I also wanted to show you my, my improvised weather stripping that I've fabricated out of duct tape. You can see that it's just folded over. That's all I did. Just folded over and then I just kind of run my finger down the crack to get it, get it a nice seal. It's not the greatest weather stripping in the world, but it's doing the trick. And on this side, I just ran the tape right, right over the crack. It's totally right over that crack. And when the door opens, it, it folds and it works pretty nicely. I also did it down here at the bottom of the door as well. Just trying to keep the house warm. All right, as you can see, the, I've been monitoring this for about 40 minutes coming down every 15 minutes or so and checking it and it's looking pretty good pretty stable I'm not seeing either the pressure or the temperature get up to anything too ridiculous so it looks good I could probably even turn it up another 10 degrees down there if I wanted to if I need to it's minus 15 right now it gets down to minus 20 minus 25 who knows what you know we may just have to bundle up a little bit I'm not sure that I want to stress a furnace this old any more than I have to. 